Hi kids, how are you doing? I miss you. I'm here to read you another story. This story is special to me because my grandma used to read it to me. And this book was published in 1986 when I was three years old. This is called The Pony Engine and it's adapted by Doris Garn and Francis Ford. Um, they had the original version of this story and the pictures are by Gregorio Prestopino. That means that that is the illustrator, person who drew the pictures. One cold, frosty winter day, the old toy town circus train was standing patiently in the railroad station. Now and then, the engine up front let out a smoky, shivery sigh. It was an old and tired engine, and I wondered if it could climb the steep hill up ahead. In the town on the other side of the hill, were many children who were waiting to see the circus. I bet some of you have gone to see the circus before. Toot toot, toot toot, all aboard. There was a signal to move. The animals and the circus children settled back for a nice ride as the train chugged along slowly. Chug, 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 chug. chug. It went faster now and whistled louder. Choo choo, choo choo. Then all of a sudden, just at the foot of the hill, squeak, bang, boom. The old engine broke down. It stopped so suddenly that everybody was tossed and jolted about. The tired old engine found that it could not pull the train another inch. Oh no, they're stuck on the train at the bottom of the hill. I wonder how they're gonna get over the hill. Oh, how can I reach the next town where the children are waiting to see the circus? The weary old engine cried full of worry. Then whoosh, a giant express engine came whizzing down the next track. Clouds of smoke rushed and gushed from its smokestack. Clang, 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 clang. It was very proud because it was going to pull a long passenger train with sleeping cars and a dining car. Sleeping cars are where people can sleep on a train. Oh, please stop, cried the weak old engine. I've had a wear and tear breakdown and can't budge another inch. Please pull us to the next town. The children are waiting there to see the circus. The big engine huffed and puffed and blew off steam loudly. Pshh. It looked down at the old engine and snorted. I can't bother with you. I pull only the finest trains. It puffed some more and went blustering off the track, leaving the broken old engine helpless. Well, that wasn't very nice. Before long, a lone engine came tooting along. It was on its way to the roundhouse where trains go for repairs and rest. Oh, please stop, the old circus engine begged. My wheels won't turn and my steam won't turn. Won't you pull us to the next town? I certainly will not said the lone engine grumpily. I've done enough. I need a rest. And off it went to the roundhouse, grumbling along the tracks. Give me rest, rest, rest. I've done enough, enough, enough. Well, no one is being very nice. I wonder if somebody's going to help. Then another engine came along pulling a carload of coal. It was rusty and dusty, wheezy and greasy. It groaned wearily and moaned tearfully, just the same. The town, toy town circus train called out, oh, won't you pull us to the next town? Our engine has broken down and the children are waiting to see the circus. But the rusty, dusty engine rumbled and grumbled. I'm not strong enough. I could never pull you. I never could. I never could. It wept some more and with a clankety clink and a sigh and a groan, bumped along on its way. After a long time, a very small engine came by. It was a pony engine, and it was on its way to the roundhouse after a day's work of pushing freight cars around in the yard. The little pony engine hummed happily along, tooting its squeaky whistle cheerily. How could such a tiny engine be of any help? The Toy Town Circus train called out, Little Pony Engine, help us! 
Our engine has broken down and the children are waiting in the next town for the circus to come. Won't you please take us there? Hmm, said the pony engine. You're very heavy and I'm not very big, but I will try. Yes, I will try and I think I can. They finally have someone to help. The little pony engine hitched itself to the Toy Town Circus train in place of the old broken down engine. Then the little pony engine tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged some more. The train wheels turned just a little. At last, the train began to move slowly, ever so slowly along the tracks. The little pony engine kept pulling and tugging. It strained and struggled and tugged with all its strength, puffing all the time. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Steadily, it began to move faster and puffed more quickly. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Soon it was going up the track more smoothly, puffing still faster and faster. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Finally, the little pony engine had pulled the Toy Town Circus train to the top of the hill. The little engine looked around proudly. Yes, it had climbed all the way up the steep hill. Down in the valley lay the, toy, lay the town where the children were waiting to see the circus. Now they would not be disappointed and the pony engine puffed loud and long. I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. As the Toy Town Circus train pulled into the station, the little pony engine blew big waves of smoke into the air, saying happily to itself, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. And so it was that the little pony engine pulled the town, Toy Town Circus train over the hill into the next town, and the children saw the best circus they had ever seen. This book reminds us that even when we are discouraged and we think we can't do something, that all we have to do is remind ourselves that we can and to believe in ourselves and that we can do it.